tell me one suggestion you would make to a budding entrepreneur who's 20 years old what should he do in the entirety of the conversation we had one low hanging fruit he should start a business around i'll start with puneet i think i'm pretty convinced uh my battery recycling is a massive Damn it, that was my solution <laughs> that's a massive opportunity i mean i would not say uh-huh. do charging because we are doing it uh-huh. <laughs> so low hanging fruit i mean if the ev adoption is imminent mm. massive opportunity to build so charging, charging yeah. but, but because we are doing it so we, i i wouldn't well, request you can somebody else to come and compete with us so <laughs> what we don't want to do and mm. is to do battery recycling so uh-huh. Wish you all the very best. You can mm. do that. Big opportunity. Go yeah. chase your dreams. Waste yeah. management, EV waste management. Yeah, that also could be another related party. It's in the uh, same recycling same, 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 space. Same, but Suruchi, I'm genuinely thinking about setting up uh, EV charging <laughs> at our offices, but with the hopes that eventually the electrons may. We produce a lot of hydrogen when we're testing. We have like a demo plant. It produces 10 to 25 kilos. That that's a sufficiently large quantity. of electricity as long as we get a good enough uh, fuel cell to convert that to electricity maybe you should But set up one charging facility in every industrial complex i feel like it makes a lot of sense because there is a lot of off gases that don't always get consumed testing downtime etc etc and, and that be just enough there are cars mm. in jamshedpur that drive people around you can't really walk it's a huge plant seems like a wonderful opportunity chetan So if I see the next 5 to 7 years mm-hmm. and I look think of entrepreneurs it's hard to get a lot of money initially mm-hmm. right and what do you do therefore from that perspective mm-hmm. that allows you to enter a business and grow it I think the way energy and mobility is going to shape up the intersection of that is going to be a data play and an AI play and a lot of uh, analytics coming in and this um is going to be new for these new businesses right so i do believe there's a large opportunity where a lot of entrepreneurs in india who got that with these policy changes and these markets coming in right so these markets don't exist and if they're going to get bigger you're going to find a way to connect them and there aren't solutions today you're doing something we're doing something but there's going to be much bigger pieces of that solution so i think that's a good opportunity which is new which is global which is data ai integrated mm-hmm. and probably allows people to look at a particular problem that's very specific to say a blue smart or us or someone else mm-hmm. and solve that and say in the process of solving this i'm giving a value and i can get in quickly and and make that happen i would say build a adapter i am not knowledgeable here so i'm right i'm writing like marvel comics while i'm saying this build a adapter for whatever electric vehicle you have which makes it compatible with what he has what he has what you have and then map out where all the charging facilities of india are and figure out a way to communicate with expensive. them and find the closest one very expensive we'll make it cheap tar <laughs> <laughs> um so two ideas one i would say um if you look at southeast asia two wheeler penetration is very high If you look at the rest of the world, overall automotive penetration is very high. So we are going to sell a lot of vehicles still, and it's uh, and I think personal mobility is not going away. Obviously, it's, I think going to be pretty big, especially as Indians become richer. I think for a while we're going to be in that phase where everybody will have aspirations. You'll want to buy more. Build a new form factor. I think electric allows that opportunity that ICE did not <laughs> allow you. ICE kind of bucketed because of technology only a few form factors for you: car or two wheeler. I think. electric allows you the opportunity to for example the entire mic explosion with micro mobility the ulu form factor right and those vehicles i think there are many such opportunities so if you want to start an oem company today don't just go and say ha okay i'll also build a scooter okay it's already like like now happening for enough years that's not disruptive go change a new form attempt a new form factor i think a lot of opportunity second one is something we failed at uh adin succeed definitely didn't succeed at that point but i think there's a big opportunity and i agree with you guys that yes there are i think a lot of customers who want a different form of ownership uh with with great vehicles which can be expensive crack that like you can you can just simplify and say crack subscription. a subscription model for but but own the vehicle not like a daily subscription right mm. how do i give you the sense of ownership mm. um these fancy car companies have that no mercedes lease and buyback yeah but somehow they 
some of them are not like really flying off, right? Mm. Like, so how how do you make this work for a very large chunk of customers suddenly? Mm. I think there's a big opportunity there. And again, electric and especially connected vehicles, amazing enabling platform, right? Connected air vehicle can be tracked at all points. You know the usage. You you know where to send them for charging. So I think the ecosystem is really well set mm. for this kind of a company to be built. Mm. So I think both opportunities are there, and uh, surprisingly in both. At least the latter, a lot of people thought about it, but nobody's really cracked it. Every company who's talked about cracking subscription quickly, quietly became a financing company. Mm. Everybody, uh, I think so. The opportunity is still pretty, pretty, pretty much open, uh, and so is the opportunity for a new form factor. Mm.